Holy Spirit is a spirit being. So he doesn't communicate like a human being. The first thing you are going to learn when you are dealing with the Holy Spirit is his mode of communication. His mode of communication is different from human communication. His first mode of communication that accounts for 60% of his communication is what we call the knowing of revelation. What did I call it? Now, is this Holy Ghost that is the only chartered personality that can open up the things of God. If you come from God, it means it's only Him that can open you up. If you are a child of God, it's only Him that knows your true identity. But you see, we must know how he communicates. Now, ushers, if you find someone that cannot control himself, take the person outside. Stay with me. This is how you benefit from this night's teaching. The knowing of revelation. What is that? Take the person outside. Take the person out. If you are still in the hall, just sit down. I will use the next 10 minutes to show you how to link up with the Holy Spirit. Turn your Bible to the book of John chapter 13. I wanted you to drink what you just drank that people are drunk is the real drink. The drink that is called the drink indeed. That we are supposed to be drinking every day. That's what we just drank. And people couldn't control themselves. It's the real drink. It entered into the core of your being and charged it. That's the real drink. It's not wine. It's not Don Simon. That one you drank now is the real one that can vitalize you. So after drinking such drinks, I know some people won't be able to control them still. I say, Osha, take out because it intoxicates like that. There's ventilation inside of your spirit, man. Meanwhile, that's the drink we're supposed to be drinking every day. There are some dimensions of faith you cannot, you cannot function in them in your right mind. You need to be high. That's the real drink that we're supposed to be drinking. But we have become normal because we don't know the man of them. Now, John chapter 13, beginning from verse 1. This man has made me trust him. So, please don't reduce your GP. I already trust him. Now, before the peace, feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew, on the line knew, Jesus knew that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. And having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Next verse. And supper being ended, the devil now put in the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus knowing, underline knowing, that his father has given all things into his hands. Jesus knowing that he was come from God. Jesus knowing that he went back to God. A knowing of revelation. I'm not talking about a feeling. I'm talking about a knowing. 60% of the communication and the knowledge that the Holy Spirit will impart in your life will come by this knowing. Stay there until you know. Because if you don't win in your soul, you will lose on the ground. Don't just leave home and expect to succeed. There's no success available for you until you know. 
Jesus knew that this, the hour had come that he should depart out of this world. He knew that he was come from God and that he was going back to God. He knew that the Father had given all things into his hand. He knew that he was come from God. He knew that he was going back to God. So the first question I have for you is, what do you know? What do you know from the Holy Ghost? What do you know from the Spirit of God? It's only what you know that is yours. The moment a spiritual thing is given to you, what the Holy Spirit does is that He makes you know it. And this is the knowing of revelation. It's not a knowing that you can get because you attend um, a, a, a classroom lecture or you visit a library or you read a book. You know it. You know it. And it's only what you know that the devil cannot steal. Because they will take away your coat of many colors. But what they could not steal from Joseph was what he saw in the spirit. And he knew what he saw. No man can take it away. What do you know? At the end of the day, you will discover it's only that which you know that is yours. And if you don't know, it means you have not tarried long enough. There is what that point that the Holy Spirit administers knowing, knowing. The moment knowing comes, it means that you have been made, your place as a joint heir has become active, and the things of the kingdom are being committed to you. You know, my case, I, I was born in Stammer, I will never stop saying it. But there was a day when I knew that God had given me utterance to preach. I still stammer, but not on the pulpit. It flows from a knowing. It's only that which you know that really is yours. So anytime God wants you to bring into a new economy of things, new administration of things, what he does is that he gives you fresh knowings. Fresh knowings. Fresh knowings. Fresh knowings. Just like as I speak to you now, the healing anointing has been activated, but I won't allow it to operate yet. I, when, I will come down. I know it. I know how it works. I know how it works to a point where God allows me to influence it. Even if you don't believe it, it will still happen. Because I know it. It won't respond to how you think, how you feel about me, whether, no, I know it. When you know it is yours. Long time ago, long time ago, I used to see myself in dreams. They said, This one has died. Then they will bring me there. Pray. Person will rise up. That's in dreams. So I now ask God. <laughs> I ask God, I say, When will these things, when will these things begin to happen? Because the moment you have a knowing that the time has come, it will start happening. You might be seeing it in your dreams, but if it is not applied by the economy of a knowing, it is not yet yours. I'm talking about the man of heaven, how he teaches you of your capacities, your dimensions in God. Are you there? So I know healing, I know it. I know it. So when I come down, I hope this light can cover down so that they, uh, I will show you healing, how it works, because I know it. And whether you believe or not, it will happen. Jesus knew that his father has given all things into his hand. He knew that. Jesus knew that he was come from God. Jesus knew that he was going back to God. So even though they came to him with stripes, he did not break. He did not surrender because he knew. 
when you find a man that cannot hard, handle persecution it is because he is void in his soul he doesn't know when pressure comes upon you you break you weep you cry no you don't know this is what paul says i think he says it in the book of second timothy chapter one i believe let me find out all right second timothy chapter 1 verse 10 to 12 are you there second timothy 1 10 to 12 but it's now made manifest by the appearing of our savior jesus christ who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel whereunto i am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the gentiles for this cause i also suffer these things nevertheless i am not ashamed why for i know whom i believe and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which i have committed unto him as against that day it is through spiritual knowings that you will know that your soul is not going to drift to her at at your dying moment he said knowing that is an insurance policy so i know whom i believe i know i'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which i've committed unto him against that day if you kidnap me i won't beg I know. It is you people that need prayer. You people that kidnap me. You are the you are the people in trouble. I am. You can't break a man that knows. If he knows, leave him. You can take away the coat of many colors from him, but there is something you can never take away. It is under pressure we will know if you know when you are laboring in ministry and there, there's no result we'll know if you know because if you don't know the next attempt that false preachers make to invite you into their brotherhood you will jump at it because you don't know some of us know john the baptist was in the wilderness he did not move to jerusalem in the wilderness of the judea But his ministry's voice got to the palace. Who told you you need to change the location? I know that I am part of the people that will repair down my city. That my city that you came. I know. A time came, the elders, Pentecostal elders in my city came to me and said, We have come to release you to Abuja. So that you will not die in this wilderness. <laughs> you will not die in this wilderness. We are the elders of the land. We have seen you have a genuine ministry. Go to Abuja. Go. Leave this valley. I went back to Jesus. And he told me what he told me before. And Isaac sold in that land. That's what he said. And in the same year he reaped an hundredfold. And he became very great. And the Philistines envied him. Isaac so I know I know I know so he gives you knowings you know like I said I've been seeing myself raising the dead in dreams all right but he has not given me so what day was that we finished festival of glory crusade and that the oldest Pentecostal in Venice said, you, you know him now, he comes for our meetings. By 8.30 a.m., he was in my house. That the Holy Spirit woke him up. 
You know, that man had raised, there's no, they, they didn't count the number of dead people that he raised. Yeah, they know it's not, it's not on record. That the Holy Spirit woke him up, that the time for me to begin to raise the dead has come. That's why he came with oil. He said, where are you? So the time, the time has come. Your voice will be heard in the land of the dead. Most of us don't know the beauty of what God wants to unveil through your life. That's why you settle for less. Settle for cheap ministry, for 419 ministry. You are deceiving people. Deceiving For how long? For how many years? Can you deceive people for 65 years? It's not a good job. Not a good job. When there's so much glory to unveil, I will not be fake. I will not be fake. He came that morning with oil. So the Lord showed him. Then he began to pray. Strange words. Strange. And as he was praying, that load was, was forming in my spirit. A knowing was forming. Yes, he was praying, but that which was my portion was that which I could trap inside. The Holy Spirit furnished my portion. People can pray for you and nothing will happen. If nothing is furnished inside. For this cause, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, as I suffer, I am not ashamed. They might strip me naked. I am not ashamed because I know. Oh, oh, I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that He is able to keep that which I have committed unto Him against that day. The first prayer you need to pray today. Is that the faculty of knowledge will switch on? You see, the Bible says that we have an unction, an unction from the Holy One, by which we know all things. An unction. That's the knowledge faculty. The moment it opens up and begins to operate, it furnishes knowings. It's by that unction that you know all things. That is the gateway through which revelation comes. Knowledge, spiritual knowledge, comes by that unction. We have, I think that is First John chapter 2 verse 20. Give me on the ball. Quickly. First John 2 20. Ah, this is my man. He said, but he have an unction from the Holy One. It is because of this unction that you cannot be deceived. You see, previously he spoke about deception, false brethren, false teachers, false, but he said, you are not alone, you are not naked. He have an unction. So even if you made a mistake and went to a wrong place, where there's a native doctor, the moment he begins to minister, your, the insurance policy over your life kicks in, and then the unction goes to work and then you know that where you are is not the church of Jesus the modern day Niger Delta Shrine so when they stand up and they say hey drive your motor driver in that crowd you can blend out because ye have an unction you are not alone by that unction you know all things next verse go to 22 uh, go go to 19 then go to 20 19 20 he said they went out from us that but they were not of us it's a false brethren but if they had been of us they would no doubt have continued with us but they went out that they may be made manifest that they are not, that were not of us. Then he now said, Ye have what? So the unction is the knowledge faculty. It is the system by which spiritual knowledge comes to you. It is one of the things that is held under the power of the Holy Spirit that it switches on so that you can receive education of the things that transcend this realm, that transcend this world. It is by this unction 
that men are kept in their calling and they, do, they are not swayed by the deception of their age. He said, Ye! So one of the prayers we are going to pray today is that the Lord might switch on this unction. The man of heaven. Let him come from within you and the gate of that unction. You should know when you are speaking in tongues. One hour, two hours, three hours. All you are waiting for is for that unction to switch on. The way I knew it was this message I will preach. You know, when you came to me yesterday night, I didn't know. I have confidence in the unction. So when you left, I began to pray in tongues. Prayed in tongues. Prayed. I don't know when I slept off. I woke up early in the morning. Continue. By three o'clock, the unction opened. You cannot deceive me for long. The moment the unction opens, I will verify someone came to me i said well i don't know if you are saying the truth now but in the night i normally service the engine hmm. <laughs> i will know <laughs> I, I, I don't know now but in the night i will find out when i told him that my engine is serviceable you know i said eh, you know the the truth is that uh, the truth came out <laughs> There's something he wants to do in you. The second way he speaks, you know, first way is the knowing of revelation. This is 60% of how he communicates this, knowing of revelation. The other one you already know, he lays a scripture on your heart. It might be a scripture that you have not even read at all. He just puts Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4. Then you go and search it. Many times his counsel has come to me that way. Scriptures that I did not have in my head. He gave me the reference. And those scriptures spoke about the things he was dealing, me, dealing with me on. Now, I'm going to stop here. So, he can lay scriptures supernaturally on your heart. Amen. He can speak by an inner witness. The inner witness is when somebody is preaching the gospel and he is inside of you confirming that that thing that man is saying is true. That thing the man is saying is true. He confirms it by an inner witness. So you know that you are not alone. Sometimes he, somebody can be ministering and he's ministering on a certain topic and then he opens up the education in your own spirit and what he's telling you is different from what the preacher is preaching but it's a preacher's anointing that activated the gifts of the spirit within your own vessel so even though he's preaching you are having another experience which is different from what he's preaching his preaching takes you into another dimension which his words have not revealed but that's where you are the man of heaven your life will remain a mystery until you find it I'm standing on the altar of Jerusalem. Now, I wanted you to be sober before I start praying. You were too high that time. Ah, I said, no, come down. When you are down, then I'll start praying. Listen, in a moment of time, if that unction opens, someone cannot deceive you. If that unction opens, you will never make a wrong friend. As the person is talking, the unction will just open. You will lose your peace totally. Everything goes flat. You know, you know that the future with this man is not okay. It's not okay. There's nothing as powerful as the witness of the Spirit of God. I want to lead you in a prayer. Holy Ghost. Come educate me. Open the investment 
of your anointing on my life to me. Make me aware of it. Make me aware of it. Can you talk to him quietly? Make me aware of it. Make me aware of it. In the name of Jesus. Forget about your neighbor, the person by your side. Just hook up with God. Hook up with God. Just hook up with God. Hook up. Hook up with God. Eso se la hizo con bres. Eso se la hilo momonote el cabala. Ya hay cosas más y cobres o vado a mina y la cantele. Puria si cobrante lima más santuria braca satale. En sus anico bresco filamanta buda gabalaito. In the name of Jesus. Now listen.